Hey, it's a great day. I'm Mike Current, Energizer, and today is day 63 on the Continental Divide Trail. Yeah, so let's do this. So first off, so first off, it rained all last night. Even had some uh, thunder and lightning at one point. So for today, but we did better yesterday than we had anticipated. So that kind of put us in into a quandary. What do we do for today? It uh, was about 21 miles to the road where we would take a bus into Breckenridge. Um, so if we can do that today, yeah, that would be great. Um, don't know, we'll see what, what how the day goes. Uh, it's supposed to rain today. It's raining right now. And uh, so that might affect us going up over a pretty steep pass and being in some some exposure area up high on the mountain. So yeah, we'll see how the day goes. Yeah, it looks old. Somebody took time to build it at some point. Across the nearest ski resort. Yeah. Getting closer to the resort. This hall here is the Copper Mountain Resort. Making my way up. There's a, a dam and a reservoir over there. Yeah. Up on top! Blends in so well. It does, yeah. <laughs> Looks like a fire came through here. Not too long ago. Yeah, a lot of Widowmakers. Not a good place to be during a windstorm.
Down to the highway. I would go to uh, Fatty's. It's a pizza place. It's kind of like, uh, it's a bar, but they bar food. You know, they got pizzas and burgers. And, that sounds and great. They had Energizer at bars. So closing out day 63, yeah, what a great day. Wound up walking the 21 miles, got down to the highway. Didn't even have to take the bus. Uh, as soon as we got down into the parking lot, there happened to be a guy dropping off a CDT through Hiker. And yeah, he was coming back to Brackenridge. So he picked us up and uh, gave us a ride. We're staying at the Fireside Inn. It's kind of a bed and breakfast hostel here in Breckenridge. Uh, so we're staying there, uh, but wound up doing laundry, did the laundry, got that all done. Um, was able to dry everything out because you know, it's been, been raining uh, and uh, got some food and then did a resupply. So why stop at Breckenridge? You know, there was Leadville to Breckenridge. It was only, you know, roughly 40 miles. Why stop? Uh, at at uh, Breckenridge. Well, the next section is 130 miles. So either do 170 miles or break it up into 40 miles and 130 miles. And this next section is going to be, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow, but it's going to be kind of interesting. So, so that's why I stop in Breckenridge. And so we got new food for 130 miles that we're going to do, get up in the morning, get back on trail. Yeah. Yeah, really good, really good day. Worked out great. See you tomorrow.